All right, uh, let's look at the Rolle's theorem, All right? So it states this. If function f is continuous on, on a closed interval from a to b and also differentiable on an open interval from a to b, and um, f of a is actually equal to f of b, then there, there exists a real number between a and b such that the derivative of the function at that point is actually equal to zero, right? So, uh, which means that you're going to have a horizontal tangent line there. All right, so I'm going to try to uh, explain by uh, explain this theorem uh, by drawing a picture, All right? So, uh, let's see, uh, we're going to draw uh, x-axis here. All right, and the y-axis here. All right, the, the key is this is uh, continuous and differentiable. Remember that the continuous means that uh, there is no breakage in its graph, and the differentiable means that uh, roughly means that, that the graph has to be smooth. So that you can't have uh, like sharp corners, or, or of course you can't have breakage either. All right, so let's say um, let's say I'm gonna put uh, a here and uh, b here, All right? And uh, f of a and f of b are the same, so which means that uh, the function value at uh, f of uh, at a x equals a and uh, x equals b they're exactly the same. So you have here, so let's say graph has to go through those two points. So f of uh, a is equal to f of b, right? This theorem is actually quite intuitive. So all it's saying is that uh, if you have a, a continuous and the differentiable graph, which means that it's a, there's a smooth graph, you have to go from this point to this uh, another point here, right? On the uh, anywhere uh, somewhere in between these two guys, graph has to get flat at least once, right? So you can see that if the graph say start out uh, you know increasing, right? You can see that it has to come back down, or it, it might go down again and then hit that point, right? then you can see that uh, between A and B, there is always at least one C. It could be multiple, like this picture. So you can see that, uh, you know, eyeballing the point around uh, this point. So I'm going to call this guy, say, C. Well, actually, I'm going to call it C1, right? Then you can see that uh, at that point, you're going to have a horizontal tangent line which means that uh, at this point, derivative of this function becomes zero, right? And in this particular uh, picture, there's actually another point that you can find where you have a horizontal tangent line. So like here, so you can see that this is a C2, right at that point and you can see that uh, you have another uh, horizontal tangent line so the derivative of uh, function f at c2 is also equal to zero all right so since it has to uh, remain uh, smooth you know once it goes up it has to come down then along the way you're going to actually have to become flat even if you go, let's say, let's draw a different picture. Let's say you start out going down, then it's going to come back up, then it, got, it has to get flat to come back up. So therefore, we can find another uh, horizontal tangent line where derivative is equal to zero there. All right, and uh, so we can't go up or we can't go down because uh, if you do that, uh, you know, you have to come back. As you come back, you're going to get flat. And uh, if you go down, you have to come back up. Then it's uh, along the way, you have to get flat. All right, only another case we can think of, what if it doesn't go up or it doesn't go down? 
then which means that the, you're going to have uh, you're going to have basically a horizontal line horizontal graph where derivative is actually zero everywhere in between those two guys so uh, e either way you're going to get uh, derivative equal to zero right uh, that's what the row theorem and the row theorem uh, if you're interested this is just a special case case of um, uh, mean value theorem right and a mean value theorem it's a, a more general statement of the a similar situation all right that's it I hope that uh, uh, this was clear